Welcome to another video on adding things to your Smoothie World site on Serif. In this one, we're going to look at adding uh, text and images and shapes into um, our pages. So this is really fundamental um, and probably something that could be easily overlooked. So let's take a little bit of time just to think how we're going to do that. So I'm on my menu page. I can see that because my menu bar has highlighted it and I can see down here I'm looking at menu. I've got other pages on my site. I've got a home page uh, which needs some more stuff in it. I've got a locations page which I've put a, a map into. If you don't know how to do that, watch the video on that. And I've made a five a day page which has a video in. Again, there's a video showing you how to do that. But right now I'm going to start putting in information about the smoothies and wraps that we've got. So. Probably, um, you might want to think about the background you're using. So I've got this sort of green background, and it probably isn't the easiest shape to, or, or, or shade even, to read from. Or even if it was, it's just not that exciting. So we could do uh, something to make that a little bit better. So we've got some shapes here, and there are various different shapes we can use, and they're sort of built in. So we could choose a shape uh, to have as our background. Um, so let's grab just a, a rectangle shape and what we're going to do is I'm going to have mine with like smoothies on one side and wraps on the other. So I'm going to drag out like this and that's given me a, a pretty plain rectangle. If I click on it I can change a few things like I could add uh, rounded corners so that can go very round uh, or sort of an inward weird shape but let's just have a slightly rounded corner. So a 10% radius on there, and um, it's got a, a line outside it, which is you could get rid of if you wanted to by just saying it's 0 pixels thick, or you can make it even thicker if you really wanted a, a bold line. So I, I might do that actually. And I'm going to change my line color uh, from this menu up here, and I'm going to choose something to complement that, something like orange. Whoa, that's really horrible to look at, but it fits my brand perfectly. So um, one thing I didn't change, because I actually it chose a really good color for me already because it's using my theme colors, um, but I didn't change the, the fill color, but I could do uh, simply by selecting my rectangle and going to the fill menu, and I could choose any of the predefined shades here, or I could go to more colors and choose anything I like. So I could choose this sort of purple color. Um, which actually looks quite nice. I might remember that when I come to do my wraps. But for now, I'm going to go back to the green. So I've got a shape, and now I want to put uh, some text in here. So I might just uh, want to have a, a more sophisticated sort of, or a bold title, that's the word I'm looking for, a bold title uh, to say smoothies, and another one to say wraps. So I'm going to get my text frame, and drag that in here and let's just type smoothies maybe with a nice cheeky exclamation mark and I'm going to select that Oops. I'm going to put it in the center bold uh, we'll make it a bit bigger now Verdana is hardly the most and it's sort of exciting font so we can have a look and see uh, what fonts we've got available um, there's some some sort of fun ones here that might might just fit the bill really well. So there we go, that's our title, and I might put another frame in here that says something like um, all smoothies are, mm, what's a good price, $2.99 for medium or $3.99 for large. Okay, so we put a little bit of pricing information in there, and then we can add our list of smoothies. So Again, make a nice big box here and probably choose that fun font. And let's see if we can come up with some ideas. So straw, berry, and hmm, what would potato? Not a great choice, but uh, hey ho. Um, what else could we do? Uh, we need healthy ones uh, carrot and. Uh, cucumber again probably not the best choices and probably not uh, a career for me in being a smoothie bar operator but you get the idea so we've we've created a shape we've added some um, 
text to it. Now, something could go quite wrong here. Let's say I wanted to, I wanted to move this. Ah, we've got a problem. We've left behind our text. So I'm going to undo that, and I'm going to show you how to group these objects together. So to group our objects, uh, all we need to do is select or click and drag a box around all of them. And you see this little icon appears here. Just press on that, and now they're grouped. So if I move them, they all move, which is, which is really useful. So what I can do, now I've made one, I could copy and paste, and I can make another one over here. And this one's going to be for my wraps. So I can now, I need to ungroup in order to edit the various sort of parts in here. So I can click on that little button again, it ungroups the object, and now I can select each individual part and, uh, and I can do the edits I want to. So all wraps are, let's just make all wraps £3.50. And let's say we can have chicken and bacon, oops, bacon and uh, what else might be nice, we can have hoisin, duck, one of my favourites, if anyone wants to buy me a wrap, and so on, and we could add more to that. Now, it'd be nice to have a different colour here again, wouldn't it? So let's go up to our fill colour, and uh, with that shape selected, just that background shape, fill colours, more colours, let's see if we get that, that pink again, pretty good. I like that. So there we go. So we've added uh, text, we've added shapes, and there are other shapes. You know, you can have lots of fun with this. We could go on our home page and we could get um, some sort of bizarre kind of little flower shapes and you could put into there some text um, if you wanted to. And there's some little choices here so you can change things like uh, how, you know, how much of a flower shape do you give. Um, how large should the petals be? So all the shapes kind of have different things that you could tweak and change uh, to your heart's content, really. Um, so you could do a sort of little clover shape or all sorts of strange shapes. So you can really experiment with that and have some fun uh, adding different things to your site. The important thing is that whatever you add, the controls are always going to appear up here when they're selected. So if I click off, they disappear, click on, they arrive. And your fill options are always going to be here. Your line options will always be here. Um, so, yeah, really, you can just have a bit of a play around and see what you can do. Come up with some fun shapes. Uh, put some text over those shapes. So these are really good for drawing attention, drawing the eye. So if you had maybe a competition or you wanted someone to give some feedback, you could use a shape that really stands out, put some text on it, and give people um, the message really clearly that you're trying to get across. So there you go, that's adding, oops, wrong one, that's um, how to add shapes and text to your site. Pretty straightforward, I hope you'll agree.